Hi guys, in the first part of the video you saw how we were able to connect the ESP8266-01 with the OLED display using the I2C communication protocol. In this section, we will be looking at the possibility of connecting two I2C devices with the ESP8266. Let's get started. The second I2C device along with the OLED display is the BMP180 Pressure, Altitude and Temperature Sensor. It's a little module but it packs in a lot of features and more importantly, it communicates with the system using the I2C protocol. This is the block diagram showing the necessary connections of the ESP8266 with the OLED display and the BMP180 sensor. The connections of the OLED and the ESP were discussed in the part 1 of this video series. The addition over here is the BMP180 module, which essentially has 4 pins, 2 for power which is VCC and ground, the remaining 2 are for the SCL and SDA pins. The beauty of the I2C communication is that there can be one master device which can access multiple slave devices. Over here, each of the slave devices have unique addresses which can be called by the master device and thus necessary and the required data communication and transfer only from the particular device can be made. The idea over here is to sense the temperature and pressure data from the BMP180, send it to the ESP8266 which in turn calls the OLED display and displays the necessary information. Having understood the block diagram and the necessary circuit connections, it was now time to test this system with my ESP01 development board to which I connected VCC, ground, the SCA and the SDL pins to both the BMP180 sensor and the OLED display. Now this is the Arduino code which we will be using to interface the BMP180 sensor with the Wi-Fi module and display the necessary values on the OLED screen. The addition of the library is the Adafruit BMP085.h which is used to configure the BMP sensor. The remaining libraries are for configuring the OLED display and communicating it with the ESP8266 module. As usual, I have set the width and the height of my screen, the OLED reset pin to 1 and configured all this with the I2C address which is 0x3c. I have also used two character arrays to store the pressure value and the temperature values from the BMP180 sensor. Next, we clear the display, set the text size as 1 and also set the text color as white. Next is a if loop which mentions that if the bmp.begin function does not return any value then the display constantly displays the word error which means that the microcontroller has not been able to establish connection with the bmp180 sensor. If the bmp.begin functions run successfully this if statement is skipped. In the loop section, we first store the pressure and the temperature values to the pressure value and the temperature value. Next, we convert it to a string and store it in a temporary buffer with an array size of 4. We then configure the setCursor function to set the cursor at 0.0, .0 display the pressure and temperatures at equal distances on the OLED screen. I have also used the millis function to display the amount of seconds that have elapsed since the project has been powered on so that we can also have an idea of the real time values. With the Arduino code out of the way, it was now time to upload it on our system and test it. And with the power on, you can see that the readings of temperature and pressure are being displayed on the OLED which is being measured by the BMP180. We also have an incremental counter which we had implemented using the millis function. I used a moderately warm soldering iron to test the temperature response and as soon as I touched it on the BMP180 sensor, you can see the change in temperature which is being displayed on the OLED screen. Don't worry, the soldering iron was not that warm. I hope you liked the part 2 of this mini ESP826-01 video series. I hope to see you in part 3 of the same. Till then, bye and thank you for watching.